going on ladies and gentlemen it's the one and only james williams also known as melchizedek inside the metaverse of upland and i'm back with another video for you guys i figure i want to spend a little bit of time on this game every day i want to check the rents and see if anything is up for sale turns out that issue that i had with marla looks like i had a free trial for marla so i was getting the information I don't really need to access Marla in order for my strategy to work. If you guys go back and look at the last video I posted at the end, I actually showed you where the property sold, right? So um, I don't think I'll be paying for Marla before I pay for it. I'll develop something myself that gives me access to the data and do it on my own. But nonetheless, here we go. We are going to take a look at some collections. So if you look at my current profile, I don't have a lot of collections at all. I, I caught, got caught slipping on a whole collection thing. Um, wait, let me go here. You know, just buying property, not really taking a collection thing seriously. So I have 10 collections. So I'm gonna try and pick up a collection today. I, I don't care if it's a little small collection. I'm not really worried about that, for example, because it gives you a boost on your and you get a higher rate of return on your money so we're in bakersfield bakersfield um there's the standard collection the newbie collection the west bakersfield collection the king of the street collection which i always get that the oaks uh seven oaks grand island all the way up to california avenue i'm pretty sure all of these are priced out so i'm gonna go and I'll start with the Bakersfield Standard Collection. How I go about doing this is I access this um, Upland Data Hub. This website, up2-datahub.com. And so what I'll do is I'm going to look in the city that I want. I want. I wouldn't mind finding something with some buildings on it too. Let's see. All right, let's see. Uh, Bakersfield. And we're not using... UPX, we're using we're not using cash we're using UPX I'm gonna click submit oh let me show you guys this I'm sorry I'm tripping there we go this is what we're looking at and it just completed its search and all right let's gonna flip we're gonna flip this price to lowest to highest and see what we come up with and we got a floor of eighty five thousand dollars for a ranch house and it's going up higher and higher so I'm gonna abandon the whole concept and idea of the house because I don't need to be spending 85,000. I'm gonna come here to cities, Bakersfield, and we are going to find us something in a collection. Something in a collection, view properties. I'm gonna find us something. So, no USD, UPX in a collection. Um, it's minted, unminted, nine FSA. Everything is probably minted there by now. Um, what was the streets? West Bakerfield is where we want to find something. Well, I don't think it actually. What well, it should have it. Okay, so I'm in Bakersfield, so let's look up West. Uh, West Bakersfield. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. I am definitely not paying the highest price. Let's see what's on the low end side. And we're looking at 20, 20, 20, 24, 24. Uh, they paid 2000 for this. They're 10x in their money. Uh, I really don't give a shit about what they're making. I'm going to take this Stellar Avenue for 24. Copy. And we'll come over here and we'll switch back. And we will go shopping. Once I get in that area, if I see anything else, which I shouldn't because it should list everything here, I'll grab it. But we'll see. All right. This is West Bakersfield. Let me zoom out a little bit and just get myself an idea of the county, the borderlines, of what makes West Bakersfield. 
Alright, so all of this is West Bakersfield. Uh, damn it, I done zoomed out too far. It's okay. Paste. Let's go back to that property. Let's check and see what Homeboy over here is selling for. Wow, you're bugging. Homeboy here, you're bugging. And you're bugging, so... should be getting the best price because these programs work pretty well so I'm going to go ahead and buy that boom boom let's mint it baby you are the owner yes sir here's my EOS transaction for it it says securing ownership and that's fine let's go on to the next one uh, boom boom now as you are collection shopping, my advice to you is to do the same thing. Find these little tools and programs that people have already created and take advantage of them. Because if you're a newbie coming into the game and you're just bouncing around buying stuff, nine times out of ten, you're overpaying for um, the property. Let's verify. This is still in West Bakersfield. Yes, it is. Back, let's see. I don't know if I want to pay 24. Let me see if they'll let me make an offer of. Let's just try. Let's see if they'll let me make an offer of 20. No, because they got that offer protection. 22. No. 24 even. No. They have this protection on here, so let's just take it off the market now before somebody else gets it because it's cheap I'll take that down um, and we're going to take this Jen Lee Avenue as well and that, that ought to complete that collection for me and I'm not overpaying I'm pretty confident of that so I'm good well, I, the floor could be a little bit higher. I don't know. I should have checked the floor first. I'll go back and show you how you do that. But I'm buying the cheapest property in this neighborhood, which I'm fine with that either way it goes. And bam. So it's minting my property. And while it's doing that... Uh, let's go back here. Let's go collections. Let's go Bakersfield, West Bakersfield. Let's edit. Boom, boom. Okay, so it's still waiting to secure the ownership. All right, so now we've done West Bakersfield. Let's go and let's see what else we can find. Let's go up. Let's try the Oaks and see what we're looking like in the Oaks. Um guys are seeing okay that's what you're seeing so let's flip flop this show you that and let's get to searching all right the oaks got the lowest price if I want to pay 30,000 32 33 all right let's do some let's just do a little bit of analysis here. let me take a look at something back out to Bakersfield <sighs> UPX floor is 12,000 that's I'm overpaying significantly if I do that. Um, that thirty-three thousand, the twelve, the twenty-four thousand, yeah, that's okay. But I'm getting way out of hand if I go with the thirty thousand. So we're gonna abandon that, and we are going to go back and take a look at something different. Let's see what else we can get, guys. Let's go and. 
We got West Bakersfield. Let's just go for the Bakersfield collection itself, which is anything in Bakersfield. All right. Field the city itself. View properties. Alright. Um, we don't care if it's in a collection. We don't care the neighborhood. Uh, what do we want? Let's try and do a max price of 10,000 UPX. And see if we could just pick up something for 10,000. The floor is supposed to be twelve, which means the minimum sale price you should find should be twelve thousand. So I should be able to get something at twelve if this program is accurate, and that floor price needs to be adjusted because let's get out of collections. That might be a problem. All right, there it is. There's our floor. So I can pick up three on that the floor with no problem. I'd rather pick them up all on the same block in the same area for the purpose of building. Um, I'm not very familiar with these neighborhoods, but let's see what the mint price was. So this mint price was 24. 34 um, I'll search by mint price wow they were minting properties for 500 UPX wow that's a pretty good deal you selling it for 12,000 that's a really good deal I had been avoiding like those properties with the smaller mint prices like this, um, just thinking that nobody would have a real interest in them. And I see now that being a slumlord makes a hell of a lot of sense. Look at those, man! Look at that markup. Wow, you're gonna hold it for a while though, as opposed to being in there at 960 and selling for. 3,500 UPX. You're going to be holding for a minute. I ain't about to bail you out of that one. If your price was low, I would buy it all. If they were looking at 100%, 150% rate of return on their money, you know, or a, a 2X or 3X instead of a 20X or 5X or what, I, I would do it. But um, I would want something with a better mint price and in my mind the reason why I say that is because in my mind the mint price is the kind of starting point for the inherent value of the property so if I'm buying something for 506 that was minted for 506 and I'm paying oh, what is this one Oh, yeah, you're gone, buddy. You're gone right now. Taking you. Taking you, buddy. Before somebody else does. I'm not even trying to fix the camera. Taking that. That had to just pop up. Damn it! Somebody got it. That quick. Gotta be kidding me. Alright. Let's flip flop this price again. That property wasn't there, guys, a few seconds ago. I mean, somebody got that quick, fast, in a hurry. Alright. We're back to the 12,000. Um, so, my train of thought, I lost my train of thought. What I was saying is, to me, this, and I could be wrong, but to me, the Met UPX is the inherent value of the the property and it kind of tells me you know its position just in the overall scheme of things um and so outside of a group of people banding together like we will soon be doing here and building out an area 
it's going to be harder for that area for that property to appreciate in my opinion or the appreciation should be significantly less because any wise investor that's looking at this says okay you paid 850 dollars for this dude you want me to pay without a catalyst i'm not gonna pay fifteen thousand dollars i mean fifteen thousand upx for something that you paid you know 805 for the catalyst could be that you build a property on it or build a house on it and then okay now i got an incentive to buy it but with no incentive for me to buy something like that it just doesn't make sense for me to do it so let me take uh let me go with my concept and idea of all of them being in the same area and me building there so i'm going to take this one let me show you guys what i'm looking at i'm sorry so what I was just saying is, just in case that wasn't on the screen, I'll reiterate it. Watch this. We're going to flip the mint UPX price uh, to 504, right? So look, these guys are 504, 504, 516. The point I was making was there has to be some kind of catalyst to make someone want to purchase that from you. Because I'm pretty sure that at a 504 minting price... This is a super small piece of property, right? Without even looking at it, common sense tells me that. But we're going to go ahead and, you know, just do an exercise and take a look. So let's go look this one up. Let's just see what it looks like. It's way off the beaten path. And it's a smaller piece of property, right? That makes sense. That that's what it is so without a catalyst without a catalyst this property's way the hell over here wow my my little avatar no, that's not my avatar my avatar is up at the top right it's way over here there's no catalyst for me to to actually buy this there's nothing like no property built on it no nothing so if i end up getting into something like this i may not be able to get out of it you understand what i'm saying so that's why i wouldn't uh, necessarily do one of those where somebody minted it for a very very cheap price but they're turning around and they're trying to sell it at 10x 20x 30x it makes no sense for me to do that that's just dumb and asinine all right so let's get back to what we were doing before and get back to searching so now we're going back to flip by price all right Uh, the floor here is 12,000. So this guy's back on Minor Street, and he's listed one for 12,000. That's new. No, somebody actually bought. That's wild. So this is what just happened live, guys. I'm sorry. Let me walk, break this down. So that property was listed. Number six, Minor Street. We went and looked at it, right? It was listed earlier. If you rewind the video, it was listed at eight thousand. Someone bought it, and they turn around and relisted it at the floor price of twelve thousand. That's a smart person. I'm gonna reward them for being smart as shit, and I'm gonna take that off that. I'm gonna take that off your hands, pimping, because that's exactly what I would have did. I want that person to feel good for the day. Feel great. You did a damn good job. What's your name? Hold on, let's see. What's this guy's name? Feelish Worst? You did a damn good job, brother. I'm taking that off your hands. Right after you listed it. Go tell your victory story to somebody. Tell somebody you did it. Good job, bro. You're probably like a director or some shit. I'm just gassing you up. Or you're probably an executive. Let me see. I can't even see him anymore. All right. That's one. We need a couple more. So, let's head back over to this program, and let's find, what else? So, I was looking at Kentucky, um, let's just take two on this block, I mean two in this area, so we'll take that O'Neill Street, and go there. 21 O'Neill Avenue 
Bakersfield. Oh Lord, I'm so far away from where it's going down at 12,000. What's your neighbor got here? 15,000. What's your neighbor selling for right here, boy? 35,000. Y'all all over the place. 15,000. Let me take you while I can. Bye. Actually paying thirteen one two. That's fine. I, I can deal with that. I forgot about the fees. All right, so that's two of them. And let me mention. Let me just vent about something real quick. So I bought a property the other day, and for some strange reason, I don't know who, who's doing this, but you're retarded, bro. The front of the house goes towards the street. Can I? Oh yeah. Can, can I, okay. The front of the house goes towards the street. There are people building houses in Upland, and this is why we need some kind of permits department or something that goes through and looks at this and tells people, look, you need to flip this around the right way, or there needs to be a penalty for this, because that's just an unusable piece of property. This guy's front door is facing the backyard of the properties I was looking at. Was looking at the other day. I bought one by mistake and the property was turned sideways to where it was like the side of the house was on the street. And I was like, eh, I could I could live with that. But to just have your house turned backwards is just blasphemy when it comes to real estate. I mean, it really is blasphemy. Like, what is wrong with you? All right. So then I secure this property while I'm running my mouth. Yeah, I got it. All right. Next one. Um... Ramona Court. Hey, Ramona, how you doing, girl? Let's go over here to Ramona, guys, and let's see. Uh, Ramona Court. You and me, babe. That's right around the corner. Let's just check, even though we got a program that's telling us the prices. You bugging. You bugging. At least he built his house the right way. 25,000 I hate when I do this I'm not showing you guys exactly what I'm seeing this is the one on Ramona Court that I was talking about. Twelve thousand is pretty is, is a good price. It's the floor. When you look around here, people are bugging three hundred thousand, a million, thirty-five thousand. Don't be this guy. Like, don't be the guy who this guy right here. Don't be this guy. Don't be this guy who listens at a million dollars. And um, that's a listing on a hope and a prayer, right? It, it, the listing makes no sense. The pricing makes no sense. Unless your plan is to join Upland, buy a bunch of property, list it for a million dollars, and never log into Upland again, then that strategy is retarded. But if you're going to do that, then yeah, list everything for a million dollars, check back in in five years, and you might have sold it all for a million dollars. But while we're actively engaging in this game and while people are still building out upland, you got to be reasonable, man. Like, it's that man's property. He can sell it for what he wants to. But to me, that's just ass backwards. That's all I'm saying. All right. So we got three more for the collection. I'm collection hunting right now, baby. All right, let's go back. Let's click here. All right, so we should definitely have this one ready to go. West Bakersfield should be tap, tap, and tap. And that's how you actually fill the collection. You tap on, and it selects the property for you. We get the little bonus, which I don't really care about. But I want to have some collections. All right. Let's go over here. Let's take these other three, which the two of the three are showing up. The third one is still going through 
It's Blockchain Ownership Exchange. And I'll come back and check on that one later. Alright, so that's in Bakersfield. I'll just take a shot at, you know, downtown, which probably it makes no sense to do that. Let's just see. Um... I don't think I'm doing any more collection shop. I need to hold on to some more of my paper for when Los Angeles opens. But a couple of takeaways from this video. Number one, you're going to want to make sure you access all the tools. I said this the other day. Marla is a great tool if you're willing to pay for it. I'm not willing to pay for it at this point in time. Um, I might be willing to pay for it ahead of Los Angeles opening but it's still a great tool to use um, to get people to pick up on properties it's definitely a great tool for that and it confirms like what we just witnessed just now where the guy bought the property for 8000 sold it to me for twelve. I took the quick flip off of him because I mean I just wanted to do it it just goes to show you that even though that property hit the market he knew about it immediately, somehow, some way. And he was able to get it immediately. And that's what I was telling you about the Mauler system and how you can take advantage of it the other day. But he knew that property hit the system. And he, by the time I got there, he had already bought it. So, now, unless I might need to talk to the people at Mauler. If Mauler allows you to do a one click buy, as soon as you see it, you don't have to log in and search the property, then I might be paying for Mauler because that's worth the money. All right, finish this collection. No, it won't let me finish this collection. So that was one of the takeaways. You saw how quickly that guy was able to flip from below the floor to the floor value um, for Bakersfield because the floor value, UPX floor in Bakersville is 12,000. Let me go back and I'll show you guys this real quick while we wait on it. the hell oh here we go all right so inside this program you click on the city in that city it gives you the accurate information on the floor which this is the lowest price that anybody has a property listed in bakersfield right so if you see something listed lower than twelve thousand, then you know you've come up on a pretty good deal and that's what happened with that gentleman just now he saw that he knew it was a deal because he knew the floor price and he capitalized on it all right second thing i want to talk to you guys about is your house build you know what i'm saying like for real build the house the way it's supposed to be built you know what i'm saying like that don't make no sense the front doors in the backyard you know nobody live in a house like that so you want to make sure you're paying attention to those things and the final thing is don't be that person who goes and gets a five hundred dollar um, mints a $500, 500 UPX property and sells it for 50000 because you're going to be sitting on that property. Nobody's going to buy it from you. You know, you don't want to rely on a greater fool theory, meaning, okay, I'm going to rely on the fact that you're unintelligent and you're stupid in order for you to buy this property. If I got, if I got it for 500 UPX, and the floor is twelve thousand. I'm thinking about selling it at half the floor because I only it only cost me five hundred to mint it, and that could be another strategy. You can go and buy all the slum small properties. In fact, I might do a portion of that because it actually makes sense. You might buy a, a portion of the smaller slum type properties for five hundred UPX and sell them for. 750 or sell them for a thousand and just move them on and you know double your money real quick if you got a thousand upx to start and you get two of those you know double your money so don't be that guy who thinks you're gonna get it for 500 and sell it for 40,000 it just doesn't make any sense because an, a smart investor is looking at that saying you're out your damn mind and a smart investor, when he sees the, the mint price, knows what type of property it is. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Melchizedek, James Williams, and undubitably, this is over for today, and I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my tasks. Look, clearly now I can finish my collection. Yes, undubitably, done. And I have done some collections for today, 350 UPX, great, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. I will see you on the next video on Dubitably. Uh, hopefully things are going well for you and your family and you are enjoying playing the game. We'll see you next time. This is the Uplander Show. Bye-bye.